Welcome to Planet Nude, the podcast exploring nudity in history, culture, politics, and art. I'm your artificial host, Ryan. Let's dive in. Lupin Lodge owner announces retirement and plans to sell. Lori K. Stout's retirement marks a pivotal moment for naturism in the Golden State. By Evan Nix. Lupin Lodge, a renowned naturist club in California, is facing a significant change as its owner and manager, Lori K. Stout, announces her retirement. In a heartfelt letter to the Lupin community, Stout revealed her decision to step down after 41 years of involvement with the club and eight years as its sole proprietor after the loss of her husband and partner, Glenn Stout. Since Glenn's passing in November of 2015, Stout wrote in her letter, I have been solely responsible for the management of the club and Lupin property with an ever-increasing workload. I have put in long working hours, often 24-7 for nearly two decades. Managing Lupin has been often so intense that I needed to backburner my own successful art career. It is time now to retire, to take better care of myself and focus my efforts on my highest priority, the health of my family. After some eye-opening meetings with my cardiologist, I realize that I need to consider my own health first and foremost. With Lori's retirement, the future of Lupin Lodge hangs in the balance. The property will be listed for sale in the coming weeks, potentially signaling the end of an era for this naturist institution. However, there is hope for its continuation. A former member and neighbor, with substantial business experience, has shown interest in investing seven figures to preserve Lupin Lodge. They are actively seeking additional investors to join this effort. Lori K. Stout has encouraged supporters of Lupin to explore various options, including the possibility of a consortium of Friends of Lupin taking over the club. This consortium could operate Lupin as a co-op or another naturist entity, either on the current property or elsewhere. It's important to note that continuing Lupin Lodge on the existing property may come with challenges, such as increased taxes, insurance costs, compliance with new regulations, ADA requirements, and maintenance expenses. Lori K. Stout acknowledged that keeping Lupin compliant could require significant financial investments beyond the purchase price. For those concerned about the future of naturism in the Bay Area, the Sequoians Club in Castro Valley, established in 1947 as a co-op, remains a beacon of hope. Friends of Lupin are encouraged to explore membership opportunities at Sequoians. The Stout family estate, which oversees Lupin Lodge, does not allow Lori's daughters to continue the business. They are focused on building their own futures while their mother prioritizes her health and her family's well-being. Regarding the sale of Lupin Lodge, members' confidential information will not be included as part of the sale. As for the future sale price, the opening listing price for Lupin is set at $32,800,000, determined with the assistance of reputable appraisers and Santa Clara County referees. Lori K. Stout plans to retire and possibly move once the property is sold and escrow is closed, which may take a year or two. She intends to focus on renewing her art career and completing the nonprofit entity she and her late husband, Glynn, started in 2007. This entity aims to support first-generation college students. This announcement from Lori K. Stout regarding the sale of Lupin Lodge marks a significant turning point in the history of this naturist institution, which dates back to at least 1934. This news comes as a further shock to California nudists, who have already been beset by news of club closures and sales in the past few months, with De Anza Springs Resort in San Diego County being converted to a textile-only resort in July and Olivedale Ranch in Riverside County being listed for sale less than a week later, in August. While the future remains uncertain for California naturism, the naturist community is encouraged to explore various options to ensure the legacy of Lupin Lodge endures. Personally, I wish Lori Kay the absolute best of personal health and good fortune, but also fear for the future of naturism in my home state and beyond. We hope you're enjoying Planet Nude. If so, please consider a paid subscription. Your membership comes with exclusive content and supports our work. Subscribe at www.planetnude.co.
Hey there it's me, Ryan, your artificial host of Planet Nude Podcast. If you enjoy getting your Planet Nude stories via this podcast, head on over to your podcast platform of choice and leave us a rating and review. We appreciate the feedback, and your testimonials help others discover the universe of Planet Nude.